Hello, I'm John Atak. I'm Sam Atak. And I'm Yuval Laor. And um, we, Yuval and I have both uh, been reading The Sane Society by Eric Fromm. Um, all we're going to do is talk about the title um, because <laughs> we don't want to get into any deep stuff here. Mm -hmm. And the notion of a sane society. So we take a mm -hmm. characteristic that is normally applied to an individual and we then say, you know, can there be a sane society? And um, yeah. you've always got some really clever things to say about that. <laughs> well, f first of all, that that move is is uh, uh, or originally or probably originally uh, done by Plato. Hmm. So uh, in the Republic, Plato says that if you want to understand the most just city, that uh, that that city will needs to mirror the structure of the healthy soul mm. or the healthy mind. Yes. So, um, and he, he says, it's like, you can either uh, read a very large text or read a very small text, but it would be the same words, right? He, he has that uh, uh, metaphor. Uh, and the claim is that there will be what in chaos theory is called self-similarity. Uh -huh. where, uh, which does happen in, in, in some chaotic systems. Mm. So the, there'll be dynamics that on, the, on, on one level of organizations are going to then reappear on another level of organization. Mm. Uh, so in, in chaos theory that manifests, for example, as in the, the, the famous fractal called the, the Mandelbrot set, when you zoom in on it, you see versions of it it's not it's never the same but you can see uh, uh, stuff that strongly resembles the, the whole set within the set right as you know was you zoomed in you know a billion times in and then you still see stuff that resembles the large sets the the entire set and you see that in in how uh, um, you know galaxies look like hurricanes or or and things like that <laughs> but um, in, in Eric Frum's case, the same society, this self-similarity, it's, I mean, he, do, he doesn't uh, 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 rely on Plato for this, but he relies on Freud. Hmm. Because in Freud, there is another kind of uh, an argument from self-similarity, which are problematic arguments. You know, the fact that it happens in chaos theory doesn't mean that you can use that just as 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 uh, uh, you know as an assertion that there should be similarities um, and you could say that the sane would be a, a metaphor mm. right but I think that in, in the case of, of Eric Frum's book and uh, and the, the Freudian tradition and the uh, um, uh, that it's in it's it's a little more than metaphor and the reason is because Freud is lived at an era where many people believed that human development how we turned from a zygote to us and how we turned from uh, um, you know the origin of life how we turned over evolution from a, a bacteria to us in both cases you start with a single cell organism whether it's a, a zygote or, or whatever primordial um, but the assumption back in the second half of the 19th century and the first half of the 20th century uh, was that those parallel each other. So mm -hmm. in embryology, when we first, uh, we first look like a bacteria and then we look like some tadpole and then we look like some lizard and then we look so like some fish and then we start looking like a mouse and then, you know, it's, it's, uh, 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 we, we get our human form. The assumption is, was, today we know it's completely not true, was that that was actually following our evolutionary past. Yeah. That's because our ancestors were, you know, went through a tadpole, you know, they looked through those things. So um, when you believe that you have this self-similarity between uh, uh, ontogenesis and phylogenesis or you know, evolutionary change and, and uh, um, individual change, uh, Freud starts making argument, arguments based on this, right? So he says, ah, oh, so if we look at the, at the baby and we see there the Oedipal complex, and we know that the baby's development mirrors our evolutionary history, 
uh, we should look for the Oedipal complex in history, or right? And so then he writes Totem and Taboo, uh, uh, and it's just bizarre and wrong, you know? <laughs> it's, it's it is just, bizarre. Yeah. So when does castration um, anxiety happen in history? Uh, so his, well, his story, sense. his historical uh, story is about the the rebellion of so the, there'll be the the father figures, which are the the group leaders, and they gave us taboos, uh, but then there's the but they monopolize all the females, which so are they, the, the, their sons castrate them, and that is part of the mythology. Yeah, and, and or, or overthrow religion. them, yep. but they feel guilty. Yeah, so. It's a whole. It's a whole story. I mean, you'll find it in the Greek myths. You'll find Zeus castrating his father, hmm. which yeah, is or, most, or most, most of Freud's ideas seem to have come from a reading of the Greek myths. Yeah, but that's, from, I think it's, it, it's his from, father castrates his grandfather. Zeus. Okay. Is, yeah. 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 It, in in you know, Fromm actually points out that the Oedipus myth only comes from one. Is it Sophocles who wrote the Oedipus Rex and what have you? There are two other plays which Freud doesn't appear mm -hmm. to have read. And he could have given a, a completely mm -hmm. different psychology if he'd read different Greek myths. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, there's something of this that, that I'm reminded of. Arthur Kersler was very popular intellectual in the 50s um, until he made a pact with his wife that they both commit suicide and she was about 40 years younger than him. And we are some of us a bit annoyed about that. But he put forward what he called Holon theory, which is the idea that there will be the same type of organization at, at every level of scale and of course um, you studied physics and know that, that the unified field has not been found yet that we have the micro the meso and the macro levels and they don't appear to echo you know they don't appear to yeah. be resonant yeah uh, for sure and uh, um, yeah in physics you don't you don't have quantum mechanics of, of large it's it just it, it, it's it's uh, um, you have those self similarities in, in chaos theory, but that's um, uh, and in in Plato it doesn't work, and uh, uh, other manifestations of of this kind of of thing can be seen in uh, um, Richard Dawkins' theory of mimetics, that he believes that mimetics. You've, got, you've really got something about Richard Dawkins, haven't you? Let, let's accept. Well, about about <laughs> it's. Uh, um, but the, the, the claim that there will be a, there's a genetic level and a cultural level and they will follow the same rules mm. is another kind of the self-similarity mm. um, uh, argument. And there as well, it doesn't work. So. Mm. <laughs> um, so in the same society, I, I, I think it's fine as a metaphor, right? Because yeah. you can use, say as a, it's a sick society it's a healthy society it's sane it's insane and all things are fine or you can say that it's a society that the majority of the people or, or a larger proportion of it are sane or you can say it's a society whose leadership acts in a sane manner or in a rational manner and right i think and, that what he's actually saying is the humanitarian or the life-affirming pro-human pro-social mm -hmm. society as opposed to the authoritarian totalitarian society mm -hmm. which would be the insane society within yeah. his term so and, and the book itself uh, is valuable the title is raises well, and, and 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 the title too could be okay if you take it metaphorically and i think it's 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 a fine reading because it works better metaphorically the problem is that in the book uh he go he, he uses this freudian back and forth where he says the the birth of indiv individual in history parallels the birth of the individual uh, in the history, which he attributes it to the the, the Renaissance era or, mm. or early Enlightenment. He says that's gonna uh, mirror, in certain ways, the the emergence of the individual as he uh, uh, separates himself from his his mother or his parents mm. or his maternal mm. figure. Um, so the um, so in the book, he he makes all those self similarity type of arguments, but I don't think he needs them. No. <laughs> you know, I think his points work even without all that the, the 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 Freudian baggage that he feels that he needs to 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 
situate his theory within the, the, the rules of that world that was established by the, the Freudian tradition, uh, instead of just saying, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw everything, you know, bathwater, baby, whatever, I'm going to start a whole new, uh, um, which, uh, uh, did, did he do that later in his life? Uh, he, he rejects Freud gradually from, mm -hmm. from, you know, when he first studies the Freudian ideas in what, 1929, I think, in Berlin, um, mm -hmm. he immediately is saying, I think he's wrong about this. Mm -hmm. By the early 1950s, he's part of the Frankfurt School, and Adorno and Marcuse both attack him very publicly for his heresies against Freud, because, of course, mm -hmm. Freud was perfectly correct in everything and infallible, <laughs> as we now know. And in the 50s, Freud is, is really big still. It, mm -hmm. It's a shift that happened in the late '60s and into the '70s. When well, yeah, well, it's it's the it's the postmodernist rebellion against the modernists or the post-structuralist. You know, it's uh, and, 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 and you, just within analysis itself, you have important characters like Aaron Beck, who in the 1960s mm -hmm. realized that it isn't working, mm -hmm. that people yeah. aren't getting better, and so he looks for some other way of looking at it. And in into you know, on one side, you've got the um, the many German social psychologists, as well as Eric Fromm, Kurt, Kurt Levin, or Kurt Lewin, as people mm -hmm. call him now, um, Edgar Schein, Solomon Ash, who are forming, mm -hmm. you know, th they will inform Milgram and Zimbardo and others. Mm -hmm. and that's, yeah. that's one end of what's happening. At the other end, of course, you've got the dominance of Watson and Skinner's behaviorism in American mm -hmm. psychology, the black box idea that you, you can't know anything about the mind. Yeah. And, and everything, you want everything is reinforcements, yeah. Yeah, so you've really got Watson at one end and Freud at the other. And mm -hmm. it's only it really in the late 60s, I think with the you know, various disciplines, philosophy of mind, mm -hmm. uh, the computing and the idea of artificial intelligence of how can we model human mind and Skinner saying you can't. Yeah, and, and, so, well, and going uh, to, you know, <laughs> in the postmodernist tradition or post-structuralist, which are uh, you have uh, uh, an insistence, and you know they, they are they are the villains for certain, you know, uh, certain certain. But John Watson I'm was sure. a, and he was actually convicted as a felon, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> like many cult leaders, like Joseph Smith and Aaron Hubbard, he was convicted of fraud. Yeah. But. So, but the the postmodernists they insist on the historical contingency of things that were attributed to human nature, right? So if the modernists would say, this is something about human sexuality or, you know, people in the, uh, like Richard Dawkins or, or, or other people on that side of, of what was called scientific realism would say, you know, sexuality is this way, you know, the, ma the male invests that much, the female invests that much, that's why they'll behave this and that. And then and the seven year the itch happens. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, th things like that. Uh, men are going to be more pr promiscuous. They're going to, you know, whatever. And then you have people like Foucault showing you that actually sexuality is extremely different over different ages and yes. in different places. And to say that the sexuality that we see in the Roman Empire, that we see in Victoria and England, we see that those are so different to... Mm -hmm that the the influence of history is uh, um, much more important than those many of those modernists like Freud used to to think. And now, some postmodernists took it f too far. They thought that we were, you know, infinitely flexible or, or whatever there was. And it's usually... Is that in our sexuality, or the infinitely flexible? Yeah, the blank, the blank, the, the blank slate uh, uh, sort of uh, yeah. uh, straw man argument. It's, uh, there, there are some people that would say stuff that is similar like that, but uh, the idea that it's human nature is entirely dependent on historical uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, situation and, and, and on culture, that is too much, but to say that it's not at all, uh, uh, yeah, which is pick and choose from any culture they like. I yeah. heard that a lot in my sociology book mm -hmm. from the yeah. postmodernists that just ignore culture because everybody picks for themselves. Well, yeah, With so the th internet, there's that sort of thing. 
yeah, there's there's different there's different uh, situations, but they do, I think, I make a, a very convincing uh, uh, argument against those. This is you know Freud going to give us a theory of human nature, and this is what you know human nature is like, and that's it. Um, so all those grand grand theories came under under attack, and after that we had the science wars, we had you know things things. Uh, um, uh, continued, you know, in the in in the big the big uh, uh, philosophical arguments, but um, the self similarity kind of argument we, we we see it come back every once in a while, sometimes in cognitive uh, uh, theories where the brain is like a computer, and so we argue from this level to that level. Um, many theories that that over rely on models thinking that uh, uh, there was a thing called evolutionary stable uh, strategy uh, theory where that you know they would do models where a bird can either be a dove uh, or a hawk and they could choose which strategy but animals are not like that they are intelligent they can figure things out on the fly they can decide you know which situation does you, you can't adequately model intelligence and so um the the self-similarity where the things in the model are going to be the same as the thing in the, the real world um was uh, too much uh, uh relied on in the the uh, before complexity theory became uh, uh well and it's still becoming but uh, um became dominant when you had all the structuralist theories then you had a lot more of those self-similarity arguments and they sometimes can work but you need to really really uh uh justify why would the soul look like the city why would why is it make sense for a society to have to be sane or to be insane or to have a you know tennis elbow or you know what, what kind of society what other can it can it have if it can have uh, uh those human traits uh so yeah that's the 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 you know i think that shed a little a little light on on that type of that angle of that oh. type of of theories in the 20th century and so reading the same society which i still am um you you need to you need to be really conscious that that you you identify when those things happen to know when you can rely on it and when you oh. can't Fair enough. Okay. Well, it's been very interesting uh, hearing your views on this. Uh, my good friend Yuval Law, PhD, my son, Sam Atak, and, and I'm John Atak, and uh, we wish you all a, a very good day indeed. So thank you Until very next much. Time. Thank you. Hi, John here. Thanks for watching. We'd appreciate it very much if you would click like as well as subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Every dollar helps and we welcome new patrons on Patreon. Or you can make a one-off payment with any currency through PayPal. Thanks so much. We don't want to get into any deep stuff here.